What do I love about beer? Uh, is, is everything uh, a, good, a good answer there? It is accessible to everyone. I think it pairs well with anything. I love a good sessionable beer. It's ancient. That's why I love beer. It's like ancient people made this. Beer is a communal beverage. It brings people together. And so what we don't want to do is intimidate people to the point where they're afraid to talk about what they really want. Yeah, the driving factor behind uh, you know, the, the craft beer on draft was, was really stemmed from our love of beer. Beer to us is, is truly every man's dream or every woman's dream. The different styles that are, that are coming to market now and, and just the different flavor profiles that you can experience. You know, every experience can be a new one. The craft beer segment of the industry is, is the only segment uh, to have double digit growth I think for the past five, six, seven years. And with Old Town Poorhouse, we loved beer. We had tons of beer at Boundary. But in our head, we said, how can we, how can we offer the same amount of beer but do it in a unique way? We've got a great, great draft beer offering. So we've got 144 taps here. Uh, we've got 90 distinct varieties. This concept is possible now uh, really because of our suppliers and our, our suppliers' ability to bring us uh, great craft beer in smaller vessels, 5.1 gallon vessels we have the opportunity to serve more varieties uh, with the understanding that we can get through that product in a shorter period of time. You know, building a list the size of a Howls and Hood beer list, for example, which has 114 uh, draft beers uh, available, which uh, currently is the most in the city of Chicago, it's probably my, my favorite part of the job. You know, I want to celebrate American craft beer and give offering within each style of, of beer uh, that's, that's available. Between the poor houses and Boundary and everything else, they have a good commitment to beer and local beer, so people know to come there to try these new beers. Between the Chicago representation and then the best of, of U.S. craft, you know, that, that makes up about 90% of the list. You know, that other 10%, what I like to do with that component is, is really bring in the unique to market, the seasonal stuff uh, that folks just aren't going to find at a grocery store, they're not necessarily going to find at their neighborhood tavern, and, and really offer something that they might not have seen before is truly unique. Um, and again, just add to that experience and celebration. It's a tremendous amount of organization uh, that, that has to go on to manage a keg room that, that sometimes has four, five, six hundred kegs in it. But I think the separator for us is truly what we have our staff um, learn and impart to the guest. Take the pressure off the guest. It's a big list. Try and find out what they like and try and direct them in a way that's gonna make them try something that they may not have tried before. We want to, again, make sure people are set up for success of selling it and, and providing our guests with that experience of knowing about it. We've got so many different varieties on draft. It kind of lets me help people guide them into some new areas that they probably normally wouldn't have been able to, to uh, enjoy otherwise. You know, whether they're a, a 100 level beer drinker or a 400 level beer drinker, uh, we want to have a celebratory experience around beer with them. We can always get better, we can always know more, we can always get you know, geekier and geekier about beer. The more we know about it, the more enthusiastic we are about it, uh, the better we're going to be able to serve our guests as they walk in the door. If we were doing something else, I wouldn't feel right, because it's not who we are.